I don't think this is going to be the most popular take or opinion, but I don't believe there should be a Legendaries exemption for the Bassmaster Elites. So I believe the Bassmaster Elites is the toughest tournament to get into for the series. While I still think that there's bigger names on the BPT, and I think that they have uh, a little bit more competition still after four or five years, I do think the elites are the top level. I think the most of the announcing is the best. I think that where they go fishing is the best. I think they have the best all around group. But I think the legendary exemption is just trash. I don't think Larry Nixon should have been in the elites this year. That's just my thoughts. He finished 94th out of 104. I also don't believe David Fritz should be in the elites. And the one that's really going to hit everyone home and not going to be happy about is I don't think Rick Clun should be in the elites. And I know he's going to have to use his legendary exemption at some point, but I think in this video we can talk about why. And let's just be honest about it. So if you've listened this far, or watched this far, please hit that subscribe button. I am uh, I have a goal this year and making sure that I have the subscriber count that I'm trying to get to is a lot tougher than you think. But if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, become part of the family. So the angler's exemption is two spots on the Bassmaster Elite. Uh, if you don't qualify by making the top whatever it is, you and somebody is trying to get back into the league that's maybe retired or in BPT or something else, they can use their exemption to automatically qualify. Anglers like Jason Christie and Gerald Swindle and others, a couple others, have used their exemption to get back into the elites. Anglers like Larry Nixon did it this year. And I don't think that they should be allowed to use it. I think that they should qualify just like everyone else. Now I understand Gerald Swindle is a bigger name than Larry Nixon for a lot of people, but I'd rather see Gerald had would have had to qualify for it, just like Ike and Ellie had to do, or like Bobby Lane and these guys that have left BPT and are trying to qualify. I think that's the right way to do it, and here's why. I'm just going to use Larry Nixon as an example. I think when if you win the AOI or the Classic and you're getting older in age, you get into the elites and you don't really do anything. And that's where my problem happens. A lot of this has stems to not only legendary exemption, but when should guys call it quits? When are they holding up other anglers to move in and get their possible fair share of the, the cake of the Bassmaster elites? While this is not going to be, some people are not going to be happy with it, I don't think Larry Nixon should have been allowed this year. I don't think David Fritz or Rick Clun should be allowed next year in 2024. And I have the stats to prove it. But when is it time to hang it up? I mean, why? If you've done so bad over so many years and you have to use that legendary exemption, maybe it's time to, to just call it quits. So we're going to talk about two anglers just off the top of the bat. Because Rick, I mean, uh, Larry Nixon, he's not, he was 97th out of a 104. And that's horrible. That's the bottom, here, the bottom seven. And using that, that exemption for this year and, let, and next year, I just think is unfair to anglers who are trying to compete and to get into the best series of fishing tournaments that there are. My next question is, should there be an age limit to this legendary status? Well, I do agree, kind of. I know that's going completely around the, around the loop. I think Palinik and Swindle and those guys who are bigger name guys that have won recently that want to get back into elites, I kind of do appreciate that. I was, I'll be honest, I was one who said Brandon Palinik shouldn't have went over to BPT to start off with. I thought he was better as an elite angler and it, he's proven me right on that. But Brandon is that upper echelon angler. Everyone has it that Rick Clun, I agree, Rick Clun has done amazing for the fishing industry. What Rick Clun and Kevin Van Dam and those guys have done are second to none. But is it time to hang it up? Here's the stats I want you to know. Rick Clun, since 2016, Rick Clun finished 63rd out of 110. 
in 2017, he finished 101 out of 110. In 2018, he finished 100th out of 110. In 2019, he finished 65 out of 75. In 2020, he finished 80 out of 88. 21, he finished 94 out of 100. 2022, he finished 82 out of 94. And then this year, he finished 103 out of 104. If you take a seven-year average, Rick Klun is in, there's 86% of the anglers are better than Rick Klun. And that only happens because he had 2016, he finished in the top 57% or 43%, 57% of the people were better than him. After that, he's in the 90s in every year but one. And this year, he's 103 out of 104. Now we go to David Fritz. He had a medical leave, I think, in 2016, but here from 2017, 97 out of 100, 2018, 97 out of 110, 2019, 75 out of 75, 2020, 81st out of 88, 2021, 91st out of 100, 2022, 92 out of 94. This year, he finished, he was in 102 out of 104. Uh, I think he ended up finishing one or two spots higher than that. In his case, he was in the bottom 8%, actually 7.09% of all anglers. When is it time to hang it up? I know people aren't going to like that. And they, I mean, Klon has had been, he's 77 years old. He's been fishing for 50 years. He has 128 top 10s with 18 wins and career earnings of 3.25 million. David Fritz has been, is 67 years old. He's been fishing for 34 years. He has 60 top 10s with 11 wins and 2.3 million in earnings. I agree, so we need to have, we need to keep the legends in there as long as possible, but when is enough? I know you're not, I know it's not popular. Those three guys, get them off the elites. They're not helping. And I know at one point in time it was all about, well, we need to get, there was a thought that they were going to give an exemptions to the classic just so uh, so Rick Klun could make it to the classic. I mean, if you don't qualify for it, don't give it to them. That's why I think they should have to qualify to get back into the elites. No offense. No offense. I want to see the strongest group of anglers fishing. That's what I want. BPT has gotten rid of the bottom 10% or bottom 10 this year. If we were to go by that for the elites, Rick Klun and, da and David Fritz should not be fishing the elites. They shouldn't. They don't qualify. They're in the bottom 10 every year almost. And I know, again, this isn't going to be popular, but when is enough? When shouldn't we bring somebody up new that is going to help propel the sport? Does David Fritz and Larry Nixon and Rick Klun really help propel the sport? Think about that. I know they're great anglers and they're legends, but are they helping the sport? Are they helping the tournament elite series? I know there's going to be a lot of people that hate that, hate that, but we got to keep it real. I don't see those three guys making a dent in it. And I know there'll be people that say they do and people love them and I love them. I love them. I'm the big, one of the biggest Rick Clun fans there is. But I don't think he should be in the elites. So you tell me what you think. Should the legendary exemption be allowed? Should there be an age restriction to it? Should they be more, should the elites be more strict on who's in and who's out? Because really there's a lot of great anglers that didn't make the classic. And that's another video we need to make. There's a lot of anglers that aren't going to the classic next year. And it's crazy. It's crazy to think. It's the end of the year, and this was something I've been thinking about all year. I said it at the beginning. I didn't think Nixon should be in there. I didn't think it. I, I mean, no disrespect to the man. None at all. But I think there could be somebody younger and better to fit in there. But that's just my, my opinion. Comment below and tell me what you think. I'd love to know. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's all right to be wrong. But I think the statistics show that those two guys, and I believe Nixon as bad as he did this year, I'm a statistics mathematical person. Think math mathematically. That's how I play poker. 
but I want to know how you think. Comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I will talk to you all soon. Cheers.